Ubisoft and EA went. EA sucked. Ubisoft wins. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to weekday one up. Hey, uh, we're we got Nate here because he came Hi. over after work. Hi. And it's still E3 day for us, but it's like Wednesday for you guys. Um, we just watched EA and Ubisoft. Ubisoft, Ubisoft. However you want to say it. Um, I don't know. Ubi, I soft, dude. Everybody nine. says Ubisoft. You you refuse to be in the majority. Okay, continuing. <laughs> Are we doing this? We had a lot to talk about. I thought you guys were talking. No. Okay. I was waiting on you. Oh, my bad. Okay. Uh, Let's start with the notes. We're going to go through EA first because that was the first one to go. <sighs> hey, hey, no, 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 no. Save we, it till we get right? to the map. Oh, we're not done yet. They did talk about a couple things. So <laughs> believe it or not. Um, I put in parentheses, bad press conference. <laughs> <laughs> Told us everything that was coming before oh, it happened. Oh, that was hilarious. They're like, because most of the good press press conferences are just like, guess what? We're gonna show you a foot here and a hand there and make you guess and then tell you what. Yeah. And then that, then you'll yeah. be like, oh, it's that. But instead, they we were like, in fifty minutes, we'll talk about Battlefield battle Battlefront. And I know why they did that now, because if they wouldn't have said they were gonna talk about it, everyone, everyone would have left. left. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, I would have started it with Mass Effect. Um, 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 Andromeda did not know how to that say that. That looked word. good. Yeah, yes. that looks great. I'm not a Mass Effect guy. I'm kind of hoping I can maybe start with that one. I don't have to play the other ones, but I know how Mass Effect is, so that's probably not the case. Uh, I haven't but... played any of the Mass Effects either. Yeah, I've heard they're good. Well, I have also. Yeah, I've heard they're great. I had. I, I played. Still have to. I played the demo of the three. Oh, no, I think I traded <laughs> it in. Oh, really? Yeah, I played the demo for it, and I'm like, this is a cool game. I never played any of the others. Next thing they announced was Need for Speed. That looked kind of okay. cool, too. Okay, so this was my... I, I like need, the Need for Speed. It looked awesome. But my only problem was, like, they have all these sports games and all these well, other... We're not we'll there yet. We'll no, 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 no. I'm, let me finish. And all these other games they have. But the Need for Speed, like, human graphics and the car graphics. Oh, we're better? They just look I always so real. That's because they... That was not, like... That was... Live action. The people, the scenes with the people, that was live action. You couldn't tell. Are we sure? That, there was no way. Because I now don't know the difference I, anymore. That was, live, that was live action for sure. And then, because you, it's slight, but you can see the transition from, from a uh, live action car to computer car. Also, I've always thought Still, that car games look better. I don't know. Car, somehow they do them really well they, graphically. Why can't they take the, still, yeah, but still, the Need for Speed graphics were good enough that you could barely tell the difference. That's we can't talk that about live this. action. We can't talk about this. Bar- you said you could barely tell the, the, guys, the we transition got, we gotta between move on, guys. a car and a fit. We got a lot, of, a lot to talk about. What I'm saying is why don't they just bring better graphics into these other games? I'm sure they want to. There's probably more going on. We don't know. <laughs> Star Wars Old Republic. That trailer looked dope. It's a expansion. Now, these two haven't played Old Republic. I would love to. But I have. And just so you know, that's not what the game looks like. That's, I mean, I those figured. are those are cut scenes, yeah. Like, pure cut scenes. Yeah. The game is like RuneScape and WoW. Really? Yeah. It's mm. running around, Lost completing, my interest. Mission, completing missions, mm. and leveling up and stuff like that. You have like abilities and stuff like that. Mm. Oh she tail, she tail. Mm-hmm. Unravels the next game. Oh. Oh. Oh, That's the name of the theme song. Unravel. Oh. Tokyo Ghoul. Okay. Talk about a poor, poor, poor. Dakota oh, wanted to die. Presentation. <laughs> oh my Which god. Game, was that the game where they're like, and here's some gameplay, but first I'm going to talk for 15 no, minutes. No, it was like, here is Unravel, and then it shows like the thing, and it shows the little character, the little yarn person. Yarny is his name. Um... And then you're like, just name him Yoshi and put him, make him out of wool. And then you're like, okay, well, let's see, let's see some gameplay. And then this guy comes out and he's like, 
let me tell you about my family, and we went to Sweden, and we did these things. I made this little character named Yarny out of wire. I played with him in the forest. I yeah, I was like, my life is very insecure. And he was, like, shaking really bad. That's not to do with the game. He was well, that was just nervous. Well, the game looks awesome, though, guys, yeah. but he talked forever. Yeah. Moving on. Plants vs. Zombies. Garden Warfare Garden 2. Warfare. Garden Warfare 2. I, I heard, heard, the, I've heard, heard the first Garden Warfare is a lot of fun, if you're playing with friends, of course. They're free to play, though. I don't know if the new one is, but the first one was, and so which means there's a lot of paywalls. It's a freemium game. Mm. I hope this one's not going to be because it looks good, and I actually kind of want to play it. Next, I wrote down sports crap. Anyone want to elaborate on what, what I meant by that? Sports. Same thing every year. I should have wrote lots and lots of sports crap. Let's see here. Uh, the only thing in FIFA that changed is your little more ag- agility. Uh, the only thing in Madden that changed is... It's nothing! Yeah, nothing. Look, Actually, okay. The throwing mechanics got more clanky. Like, if I have Madden 25, which I think is... Or Madden 15, whichever the one is. That's Why? M- my brother owns it. Oh. And... Ben or Aaron? Aaron. Ugh. And, uh... Aaron should know better by now. The throwing mechanics in that game are nice, but, like, when we were watching... I, I might be just because it's an early development because it's not ready yet or something. But when they did it, this was the throw sequence done by Tony Romo. Nate's a football guy. Well, we can't stay too long on any topic, just so you guys I know. know and we then go through a lot. Either NBA, way. the only thing changed is you can actually put your face in the game. That's the only thing that changed. That was kind of cool. That's kind of uh, cool. But, like, they just spent on it for so, so long. I've been watching E3 for a long time, and they always talk about sports. But I don't ever remember it being... This bad. It wouldn't have been that bad, but they got Michael. They got Pele, who's considered the best soccer player of all time. Got him them. up there to tell stories, and that's <laughs> cool. But this is video games. That yeah. would have been cool, like anywhere else. He's probably like, man, I came all the way here to tell my stories, and they kicked me off after a couple minutes. He but, talked about his bicycle when he had when he was like ten. Mobile games. Mobile. Eh. I, tu- I, I don't tu- even remember what they said. I tuned out during sports. And they mobile games. they made a mobile I game for listening. a lot of their stuff. Okay. I all right. Important stuff. Finally. God, once you get through all the crap, Mirror's Edge. That Thank looked you. fun. Mirror's yes. Edge Catalyst. I, ne- I never played the first game, but the new one looks really, really fun. It's I a heard prequel. great things about the first game. The first game's great. I played it. Mm-hmm. I love that game. I heard it's really hard. It's it, it's pretty hard. The the parkour mechanics, although they're good, apparently they're pretty clanky. Well, the, it was one of the first games on the system. Right. Like, no, I'm not sa- giving any bad... No, that's why I'm so oh. excited for Catalyst, is because now we've had all these games... Like, that have got the parkour right, and even just, like, um, what's it called? What's the Dying zombie Light. one? Dying, Dying Light. Light. Dying Light's a first-person parkour so game. Good. They did it perfect. Mm-hmm. If it's anything like Dying Light is, just without the zombies, feel like, it'll yeah, be great. I feel like they they saw what Mirror Edge did, and they're like, I really like that idea with Dying Light. And then they're like, they're like let's toss it in our game, but really smooth it out, mm-hmm. which they did in that game. And then after that, there was more sports stuff. Yeah, it was like yeah. It was like here. What was it? It was like here's Mirror's Edge. Yes, okay, cool. And now here's Madden. Yeah. Oh. My. We showed you a game. We held you over. Come on. I would say this. I would rather break my leg. With I would rather be hobbled like in the movie Misery. Than have to sit through that again. Not really, but. <laughs> but I'm gonna pretend that. Battlefront. <laughs> this was great. No name. I'm super excited for it. Ever since they canceled Battlefront 3 to come out. Day I cried. But. Same with Star Wars 1313. I cried. But. I didn't really cry. There's no story mode. Oh, yeah. That there sucks. is no story mode. But was there in Battlefront 2? I, bl- I, re- I blatantly I remember it being just like missions that you go and do in single player, which is exactly what they announced. I don't remember there. Maybe like a little something, but I do not remember a heavy story mode. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Well, that might be true. Something but... they mentioned during play- Garden Warfare was when they were like, and now you can do single player. Because it's never been heard of. With local multiplayer. And, and Dakota like, was like, this new thing. This, <laughs> what? What is this? I've never heard of local multiplayer. <laughs> Isn't that a- They don't do that anymore. They don't ever do that. It was pretty funny. But Battlefront looks amazing. It looks like they really yes. went all out on it. Like, they. Yeah. I, I was really skeptical. Earlier this year at the Star Wars celebration when they started announcing stuff about Mm -hmm. it, I was like, I don't know about this. I was honestly turned off, but after that trailer, you know what it sold me? When it showed that you could drive the ATAT. Oh, yeah. The walker thing. I was like, done. Yes. I was a little confused. I'm 
when they were showing, like, you could go between Rebel and Imperial, I'm wondering if that's, you can play... No, 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 that wasn't going between, that was saying that that was from, like, people that had just, that was, like, recorded from, you know, switching back and forth between the people who had already played it. Okay, yeah, because I was a little confused. I'm like, are you, like, in the middle of this mission, suddenly you're on the opposite team? Again? No, 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 no. I was just not, showing a bunch of different stuff. Yeah, okay. you're not just jumping around. Yeah, you're going to go from... That's what they made it sound you're gonna like. You're going to go from the... You're going to go from playing... The, it wasn't a demo. That was all pre-recorded. They weren't right. doing it there. I knew that. Yeah. So. You're going to go from the AT-AT in the, to playing as Luke Skywalker. Gotcha. Okay, um... Ubisoft. Yes. Started with... Started it off with... Can, can I say yeah. it? With South Park, the fractured but whole. Fractured. It looks amazing. <laughs> it's a sequel. That say it really, really fast if you don't get but it. Whole. <laughs> and that's but whole, like W H O L E. And B U T. But it's a sequel directly uh, tying into the Stick of Truth. Yeah. It looks so good, guys. And instead of being wizards and stuff, you were the Coonan friends this time. It blew me away. I was like, what's happening? Is this South Park? Is this for real? And then they got Matt Stone and Trey Parker to come out and be like, yeah, more games. Heck yeah. Even though they said they would never do it again. That is amazing. When I saw it on there, I was like, no, they're, they're trolling us because they said they'd never do it. Mm -hmm. I, I saw the interview where they said they'd never do it. Mm -hmm. So I was really surprised. The fractured but whole. Do you guys yeah. remember what was announced next? The new on, wait, IP. Wait, 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 wait. New IP. Uh, um, um, oh, For Honor. For Honor that, looks dope. That looks, that looks, looks awesome. great. If that game is... That's a game that could get me into... On, that's another game that get me into online. If it's all online, I'll play it. Are we going to play together? Yeah, I'll play that with you. Well, go and buy PS4. I will, eventually. It, it looks like a really good game. I really, I'm really looking forward to it. I want to see more about... They said that you can you can go between these three different timelines, right? You can be like a samurai, you can be a Viking, and what was the other a one? Like a knight. Okay, but in the demo, all they showed us was the knight. I want to know the and switching the mechanic. No, they didn't. Not in the demo. Yeah, you he was fighting the samurai. No, I mean you turn into it. He never oh, changed. He I never see, changed. I see what you're saying. So I'm like, what's the changing mechanic? Is it like different times throughout the game you change? Or can you like hmm. literally change on the fly? Like is there a button where like boom it changes the time period all of a sudden? Like I don't they didn't really go into detail. And then my dude. That guy up there talking about I can't awesome. remember his name, but he But Ubisoft the announcers are just with, awesome. with the cane? That guy the was cane, so yeah. cool. He came out and he was just like, he did it right. Dude, He's I wanna like, name my kid the cane. The cane. John the McCain? Cane. No, just yeah. the cane. No, he, the cane he came out and he was like, here's our game. It's called For Honored, and this is For what it's Honor. about. For Honor. It, this is what it's about. This is how you play. Here's gameplay. Let's go. Yeah. He got in. He wasn't nervous. Told you what it was, and he presented it well. He had the beard. This guy had swag. He yeah. walked up there, and he, he was, was just like. No, no, this guy didn't have out swag. Y'all out there? This, had, this guy had class. He was so confident when he got up there. Like, compared to the guy that. see the cane? The, compared to the guy that, uh, I'm not saying it was his fault. I mean, you can be nervous. It's not a bad thing. But compared to the guy that did the yarn game. Uh, Yarny. Yeah, he, he was. Well, like, I think it was just a different group. I think Ubisoft, like, purposely picks these people. Mm. Like, like, the other, all the other companies, they get, like, the developers. I think Ubisoft gets speakers. Like, they get people give speeches and have them talk about it. Because that's just what it felt oh, like. Oh, if you don't know, in For Honor, you can switch between a Viking, a knight, and a samurai. Yeah, we just, we just talked about it. I didn't that. hear any of that. Oh. I was in my <laughs> We talked about it for like two minutes. I was thinking about it, about <laughs> how fun the game looked. You are so <laughs> weird. The crew is getting DLC. All right. Uh, well, not, right. They didn't really show a lot about it. I don't the know, crew no. looks cool, but... I'm not huge into racing games. Except. But there is a racing game later on. We're not there yet. Trials Fusion Awesome Level Max. I don't know what this game is. But I want it. Yeah, it's I don't know what it is. Cat either. riding a fire breathing unicorn. Like, who doesn't want that? I need that in my life. You like cats? I like unicorns. I, I like mean, fire. It's fire. It's perfect. <laughs> Fusion, ha! <Huh>? Things. <laughs> is that how you do it? Next up, they gave us a lot more on the division. Dude, okay, so I think out of all the games Ubisoft's coming out with from this E3, Division's the one I'm looking forward to the most. Really? Yeah. Just because I remember when I first saw it, I'm like, it's in my top five. But th this game looks good. I've kind of fallen off the train for Assassin's Creed. I've played. We'll talk about that. Later. We'll talk about Assassin's Creed in a couple minutes. True, but uh, just it it looks super cool. 
and like the other player interaction looks like it might be really fun. It does look cool. We'll have to play together. Although the way they played it off, it like I don't know if you've seen it or not. They these two random people show up that are in the game. It's open world multiplayer. Nay, there's just a demo. You mean the betrayal at the end? Well, no, no, no. You were not, complaining about that to us. No, 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 no. I'm not complaining about it. What I'm saying is like. If you've ever played any open world multiplayer, we get it. It's everyone hates realistic. each other in that game. <laughs> yeah, we get it. It's not Daisy. I wasn't talking about. Oh Daisy. come on, guys! Oh my God, we're not fighting. Uh, on on ano two two o five. That's, that's the that space looks, one. That looks really cool. You said you didn't like it. Yeah. The trailer looked really cool. I think it looks awesome. This is like you can build cities, like futuristic cities, on the moon mm-hmm. and on Earth. I guess. I think it looks awesome. I love that Sim type of stuff. Sim City, I liked. Like, I think it looks good. I want to play it. I think all of those games look good, but I've never bought one. This might be the time. <laughs> we'll wait till it's like on sale. The only game I've ever played on a Steam sale. Wrap it up. Maybe yeah. The it's only Ubisoft, time I've ever played one of those types of games is Halo Wars, where you build your own. Did you like that? I love Halo Wars because I like that kind of point and you strategize on what you make kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Han? Yeah, 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 Han's here. Yeah, yeah. Next up was literally the game we were all waiting for the entire time. Just Dance. Just Dance. And moving on, Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, I was looking forward to this game um, when I first announced it. Mm-hmm. Was the first last year. Last, last year, year, right? Yep. And the division looked better. It does look better. It does better. look better, I agree. Um, but... A lot of people who that got to play early access said it's really Call of Duty. Like I don't it, like that. Uh, this it, game, which could be wrong. I mean, these people are also the type of people that don't play Call of Duty at all. To to me, and this is coming from a person who hates online and hates shooters. I'm not a so we know you don't like it. It just looks like every other shooter. To somebody who doesn't hate online and doesn't hate shooters, Same. but has fallen off of shooters. Last gen, um, I was really looking forward to this game when it was announced last year. Mm-hmm. I thought it looked special. I thought it looked, you awesome know, too. it looked really different. They were doing something different with the permadeath and like that is cool. I'll agree, that's cool. Yeah, and like the going into a house, like you're rescuing a hostage. Like you're not just there to kill people. Like yeah. there's literally a person in there you're trying to save, and they if they get killed, it's over. Like. I don't know. It seems cool, but then the demo this year it, just it looked less the idea like is cool. That. I'll, I'll say this: the idea is cool. It just I felt like they the moved away from just, the idea. The gameplay just looks like every other shooter out there. That's what it. That's One my the, problem. It did. It honestly, he's not wrong. Like I don't have a problem with shooters, but it didn't look as special as what I thought it looked last right, year. The same. Okay, moving on. Like if it had been uh, more like you can switch between first and third, like the other, like uh, division. I, th- I think that would have been kind of I don't of think that there. would. It's really close quarters. People would you want to be in third there? Yeah, you mm-hmm. wouldn't. People with third person corners. Track there. Mania. That looked awesome. Yeah, I was really, really liking what I was seeing. Track Mania looks dope. It might be cool. That's just how I feel. Well, about I it. grew up playing games like that. Yeah, me too. Like with the racing, that kind of mechanics. If anyone ever played a. I can't get Madden Speed 8 Racer. I can't get Madden 8 because he's. He's excited for the last game, and then I'm not. So. Speed Racer on the DS. I don't know if any of you guys ever played it uh, when the new movie came out. Um, this looks a lot like that game. And it also kind of reminds me of back in the day, there was like a... Um, I can't remember what they're called. They're like uh, Hot Wheels. There's a Hot Wheels game that I used to play. Oh, uh, well, like, yeah. And I it reminded me of that, kind of. Like, I can see where you're going with that. Yeah. It looks really cool. Uh, two left. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Yeah. Now we gotta hurry through these. We're running out of time. So yeah. the thing about Assassin's Creed Syndicate is, I've kind of fallen off the Assassin's Creed game. Mm-hmm. Just like everybody else on the planet. Oh, this is, this is my annual. We can't play Assassin's Creed anymore. I don't. I fell off of Assassin's Creed as well. I don't understand what he just said, but okay. I, it's not because I don't like Assassin's Creed anymore. It's just I've played much. so many. Too much. Um, I actually decided to take a break. And which I'm gonna is probably play what Unity I'll do before this comes out, and then I'm gonna play it. But, like, I, I do agree with you. I, I've gotten to the point where I've had too much Assassin's Creed, but this one looks different. It Yeah. It's new world. It's newer day. You'll have new mechanics because there's new technology. I like the character. Um, yeah. I think Jacob. 
I think one of the problems they had with Assassin's Creed, and one of the reasons a lot of people did fall off, is because they went back in time. They got away the Revolutionary War and into the pirate era, and then they're like, no, now let's back it up just a bit, or leave it right there. Mm-hmm. And Wait, what, what do you mean back it up? Well, um, like it went. The only time they went back one, it started in the 1200s, and then went to the 1500s, and then went to 1700s. They went back. 40 years, then went up to the uh, m- the mid-1800s, and now is in the late 1800s. Because Victorian England is 1880. Well, I know that, but like Unity and Rogue didn't really go very f- anywhere in the timeline from when, like, from like uh, 4 and 3. 4 was in the... Guys, early... we don't have time to discuss this. The camera will seriously stop sure. recording. True. I'm sorry. Um, well, we've been going for a long time. Uh, but it looks, I think, do we all agree that it looks cool at least? It's Assassin's Creed. It looks good. I'll I play it. Because yeah. I want to debate. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to prove Neil Ghost wrong. Ghost Recon. Wrong. Ghost Recon was... The last one that they showed. The yes. open world shooter, yeah. That one looked fun. Yeah. I, mean, I think it looks awesome. A, the the cool thing about people that are, they're making more open world games, and I think that's what every gamer wants, is something where you can just explore. Um, I disagree with that. You don't like open world? I do, but I don't think that's something every gamer wants. No. Like, open world, honestly, you I might like think I'm true. crazy. True. Open world is not in, in, at the top of my favorite games list. Yeah. I like I guess, open world. I like I what like they exploring. try to do. Like, yeah. I like exploring, He, he knows, because, like, Ugh, when, when playing games with this dude is the worst. I'll do everything wrong on purpose. When we play Assassin's Creed together, I literally kill everyone. Just for the fun of it. Like, we were playing Last of Us, and then I looked around, I was like, alright, cool, and he's like, get that thing. And I'm like, I checked that. He's like, check it again, I didn't see you check it. Checked it, there's nothing there. Okay, just want to make sure. I mean, I like open world games, but to me, I want platformers, and I want like, puzzle games, and I want like action RPGs. That they don't have to be open world. I think a new portal. You should play Metroid. Metroid. Open world. Huh? You should play Metroid. Yeah, I mean, I, that's just the kind of games I like. But I do like open world. I have no problem with it, but it's just not... I'm not begging for more open world games, because we've got plenty. Mm-hmm. True, like, Fallout's really. coming out, this new Rainbow Yeah, Six that game. will be my open world game for, like, the next two years. That's true, that's yeah. true. So. That is true. That's it, guys. You can follow me and Dakota, at least, right here. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat... Pimp yours real quick. What are you? I'm at Mr. Chaos number nine you on Twitter. You on didn't Twitter, change it to Nate the Great. No. Okay, and if you share this anywhere so that you can like be like, oh, listen, these guys, their opinions are interesting on these conferences. They don't really agree with each other. You can kind of hear them bicker a little bit. Uh, <laughs> hashtag this WD one up. Is that right? I'm tired. Is it WD one up? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm really tired, guys. Hashtag WD one up. Is there no question? No. Oh no, we're not doing the question of the day this week we're because we got up. so much to do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you imagine if we had to fit a question in here? I'd have been like, literally no discussion. We just read the list. <laughs> this was said. This was said. This was said. We this wouldn't was have said. added EA to this episode then. All yeah, right. Yeah. Been like, well, Thank you, everyone. EA, forget it. Stay nerdy, guys. Stay nerdy. Bye bye. Crap, we didn't do what we thought there was gonna be in Sony. It's okay. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to watch yesterday's video, click right here in the center of the screen. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And read the description to find our other channels, plus our Twitch and more. Nice, bro. Could you keep that in? <laughs>